Basha from the technique here, and if you're constantly using your computer, you really don't want it to overheat. But in this video, I'll be reviewing a laptop cooler, and comparing with and without it. The brand is Deepcool, and I have the model number in the description below. Now onto the review, and so what I found was, was the build quality was pretty good. It has a metal grill on top, and a single fan inside. The rest of it is plastic except for the legs, which also have a rubber foot to make it grip to the surface. Another cool feature with this is that when you plug it into your computer, you're really not losing any USB ports. Since it has a USB pass through once you plug it in, it has two USB ports at the back. One's the input for the power and the other is the output for the pass through. The only disadvantage to this is that it's USB 2.0. So if you have a USB 3.0 computer, you'll, you'll be downgrading the bandwidth. Okay, so now onto the performance testing. And I'll be using a great monitoring software that's very reliable called NZXT Cam. Okay, so the way I'll be doing this is I'll be running the benchmarks for 20 minutes. Once I'll have it with the fan, once I'll have it without the fan, and then I'll do the same test on my bed. And the reason why I'll do it on my bed is because the covers of the bed smother it, giving it an extreme situation. Therefore, there can't be any airflow to the intake. I had to actually switch software to a program called IDA64. And the reason being is because this program is a lot more advanced and you can easily record the results. Whereas I would have to write down every second on paper if I were to be using CAM. Okay, so this is with the deep cool notebook cooler turned on, and from this graph, you probably can't see much. But now on the statistics, I'll display them on the screen there. But now if we put up the statistics from the 10 minutes without the cooler turned on, there is a small difference, but not much, and the reason being, because the computer is raised on a stand, there is still airflow getting to it. So now, I'll be putting it on my bed to stop the airflow. Alright, so I know this seems a little weird, but it will definitely help with the fair testing and to see our results. So, there's like one degree difference, and I'm honestly surprised. But I think it's because the vents are on the side. But still, it's only like one or two degrees. Where can you buy these? And is it actually worth the money that you're paying? Well, you can buy them at just any online store like eBay or Amazon, or maybe just a local tech store. But I actually could not find the model number on the whole thing. But I, but I know that the name is the Deep Cool Notebook Cooler. So I'll have the link to one of these in the description below. It may not be the exact model, but it'll be pretty close. And, and is it worth it? I think that it is worth it, because not only does it make a great computer stand, it's good for just times when your computer is working really hard and you just need those extra fans to cool it down. Well, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Hopefully.